Reiki Level 1 – How Reiki Works Although Reiki has traditionally been used as a healing system, it is extremely effective as a way to help individuals increase awareness, insight, wisdom, and personal growth. Our bodies are energetic in nature. Our bones resonate at lower frequencies, while our blood, thoughts, etc. vibrate at higher frequencies. This magnetic pulse is known as a biomagnetic field. In Eastern traditions, this pulse is known as Ki or Prana. It is interesting to note that scientists have found that measuring the magnetic fields of the body often provide a more accurate indication of what is happening in the body than traditional electrical measurements. When a practitioner is performing a healing session, the energy that emanates from their hands produces a significantly larger biomagnetic reading, sent 7 to 10 hertz, theta and alpha range, than a non-practitioner. These frequencies are associated with physical healing. Contentment, relaxation, decreased feelings of stress, fear and anxiety, as well as a reduction and in some cases elimination of physical illnesses and persistent conditions are common observations from clients after a Reiki session. There are countless case studies and anecdotal research verifying the effects of Reiki sessions. Entrainment is the tendency for two oscillating bodies to lock into phase so that they vibrate in harmony. In 1665, Dutch physicist and scientist Christian Huygens found that when he placed two clocks with pendulums on a wall close to each other and swung the pendulums at different rates, eventually they would end up swinging in sync at the exact same rate. Hujin realized that this concept applied to not just pendulum clocks, but as a basic law of physics. During a Reiki session, the practitioner places their hands on or just above a client's body. The practitioner conducts universal energy from their arms and out through their hands where it flows into the client's body. When a practitioner and client come together, they are the two oscillating objects discussed in the definition of entrainment. Every cell in our body and every atom in the universe is in a constant state of vibration. The tendency for two objects is to lock into phase so that they vibrate in harmony. In most cases, the weaker of the two oscillating objects will have a tendency to adjust to the stronger vibration. In a Reiki session, the practitioner does not rely on their own personal energy. Rather, they are conduits for focusing the energy from the world around them. We are born with the innate intelligence of Reiki, and it illuminates our body mind, stimulating balance and growth. Over time, however, habits and choices that do not serve our highest good can stifle that flow of energy, resulting in a loss of vitality and eventually imbalance. What sets Reiki apart from other forms of touch therapy are the attunements that the practitioner receives. These attunements open the channels in an individual so that they are in direct contact with universal life force. After an attunement, these channels are open forever. In Reiki Level 1, four attunements are given. Reiki's Level 2 and 3 have one attunement each. Reiki does not create new abilities in a practitioner. Instead, it reveals abilities that they already have. Like plugging a lamp into an outlet that already has electricity, Reiki helps the practitioner make the connection. Like turning on the lamp, all the practitioner needs to do is activate the energy by placing their hands on themselves or others, or visualizing doing so. Reiki Level 1 focuses on the health of the practitioner. After this level, individuals can heal themselves, as well as others who are physically present. It takes three to four weeks to adjust to the initial attunements. Individuals may find shifts occur in their dreams, energy levels, or experience minor detoxification symptoms. The practitioner will feel well as they shift through the changes that occur as a result of more energy entering their aura and chakras. At times of discomfort, the practitioner may find that performing a Reiki session, either on themselves or others, will help to balance the energy. It is recommended that especially in the first month after an attunement, that the Reiki practitioner performs Reiki sessions on themselves and others daily. 
Although there are many modalities that have been developed to stimulate the flow of energy within a body-mind, in comparison, Reiki is easy to learn and practice. It is also a modality that benefits the practitioner as well as the recipient and can be used as an extremely effective tool for personal growth as well as healing on all levels. This concludes Reiki Level 1, How Reiki Works.